Welcome to Juneteenth Cincinnati Shorts. I'm Vanessa Quirk. Each week in June, we'll share short stories about Cincinnati's black history. Today, we're going to the West End's Cotton Club. It's 1943. Smoke hangs in the air. Lights flicker on the walls. Patrons wear elegant hats, hand-painted ties, corsages. The music is bopping. Duke Ellington, Sarah Vaughn, Count Basie, they all played at the Cotton Club in the Hotel Sterling. It was the only place in Cincinnati where black and white folks could dance together until about 7 in the morning. Most bars and nightclubs at the time denied LGBTQ plus folks, especially those of color. But the Cotton Club was a home for queer black performers, like the drag troops, the booty greens, and the Cotton Club girls. Cincinnati's own Dixie Lee was a particularly beloved female impersonator. A club goer named Nelson Burton noted that Dixie could outdance anyone on the floor. Plus, she was a, quote, hell of a dukesman. The late local historian John Harshaw agreed, calling her, quote, a beautiful person who would kick butt on a moment's notice. But in the late 50s, the West End was upended by urban renewal and Interstate 75. The Regal Theater survived. The Cotton Club didn't. The building, a monument to black queer Cincinnati history, was destroyed in 1962. Juneteenth Cincinnati Shorts is brought to you by Urbanist Media's Urban Roots podcast team, Decca Hussein-Wetzel, Connor Lynch, and me, Vanessa Quirk. Special thanks to queer historian Jake Hogue.